Mindman Club, a popular Minecraft practice server which, over the last few months, has become infamous for being exposed and or leaked by a series of different YouTubers. But what if I told you that these YouTubers are lying to you? These content creators attempt to expose Mindman Club for various actions, such as selling unbans, which would be against Minecraft server TOS if true, as well as a background of trying to both DDoS the server, as well as dox members of staff. This is the actual truth behind Mindman Club. So there are two main videos that exposed Mindman Club, one by an individual known as Savreen and one by an individual known as Flush. In this video, I'll only be addressing Flush, as a majority of Flush's points are from Savreen's video, and, well, Savreen is also this wannabe hacker slash doxer who in truth is harmless, he just likes acting tough online. So let's start by addressing this video, made by Flushed. Corruption within Mindman Club is an open secret. Many players suspect the server staff of selling unbans for real money. Reports suggest that ban players are given the option to pay from $50 to $150 to remove their ban, creating a pay-to-play dynamic that ruins the intentions of the game. This raises serious ethical questions. You may argue that this in some cases affects younger players who may not understand what happened and use their parents' money to buy themselves back into the game. Flush begins by stating that unbans are being bought, and this rumor does have some form of truth to it, as this clip was in fact leaked from a former Mindman Club staff member. So if I want to come back on Blacklist, it's going to be, what, 300 we agreed on, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. For mod, for mod, for mod is like, what, a ban? These individuals were indeed selling on bans. however the clip itself is very, very old. And the individuals within this clip were caught for this behaviour way before this clip resurfaced. They were very quickly removed from the staff team and NDAs were put in place to avoid a situation like this ever happening again. So let's jump to the next part of Flush's video. There are also allegations that bans are being sold to eliminate competition. A friend of mine called Fanta got banned off of the server multiple times and twice with media rank. This just proves further that their team does not have any idea of what they're doing. Well, there might just be a darker truth. I personally believe that everything they've done is just for money. I think they are selling bans. Because as you can see, Fenty got banned with media. Why would they do that? I'm not even going to bother addressing this. It's completely naive and stupid to believe, oh, my friend got banned when he had media rank. That means the staff are corrupt and selling bans. Like what? How do you even come to that conclusion? The truth is yes, his friend Fenta did have media and he was banned, but that's because he was actually cheating and auto-clicking on MMC. No rank on MMC is exempt from the anti-cheat, so if you're cheating, you'll be banned. It's as simple as that. But this whole paying for bans, paying for unbans, the situation doesn't even end here, because Flush goes on to say this. Perfment, a well-known player recently exposed severe communication breakdowns within Mindman Club staff. Reports suggest that team members often have conflicting instructions and lack a unified strategy. This miscommunication not only frustrates players, but also leads to inconsistent rule enforcement. Perfment himself said this. I was banned by Juna, who then made a video about me, trying to flex his superiority. At the time, Juna had about 60,000 subscribers. His video got around 27,000 views, which is high for his standards. Afterward, I managed to prove my innocence and even Juna agreed. So we talked in DMs and I agreed to keep the video up. Juna also apologized in the comment section of that video. Staff concluded I was legit and unbanned me. Just 30 minutes later, an unknown and secret staff member lurking in the shadows banned me again. It wasn't the anti-cheat since I was AFK, so it had to be a manual ban. Other staff members unbanned me shortly after and rechecked everything. Yet, the mysterious staff member banned me once more. The last thing I heard was that PayPal, an admin, offered to unban me for $100. So for some context here, my friend and fellow content creator Jonah made a video catching a hacker on MMC. This person was Perishman. Perish was also streaming at the time, and Jonah believed Perish was auto-clicking as no click sounds could be heard, but his keyboard could be. As well as this, Dukes, the owner of MMC, confirmed to Jonah that Perish was flagging the anti-cheat. The short explanation for Perish being unbanned and rebanned so many times is that higher-up staff believed Perish was cheating, according to the logs on the server, but Jonah didn't. Hence, he tried to unban him. But staff then rebanned him and that was it. It was just simple miscommunication, nothing more to it. But one screenshot was also presented to us. This screenshot is supposedly from Vape Pale, an admin on MMC, saying to Perishment that he could pay $100 and be unbanned from the server. And guess what? This screenshot is completely fake and was edited by an individual known as Openbread who was attempting to debate Perishment's ban. Openbread in an attempt to cover his tracks then deleted the majority of his messages with Vape Pale, but it's very obvious to see. I even attempted 
wanted to tell Flush how the screenshot was fake, but Flush refused to hear me out, leading me to believe that he knew that the screenshot was fake, but simply wanted to keep his video up because it was performing better than most of his others. The majority of Flush's video, as you guys can see, lacks severe amount of evidence as well as any form of valid points. Flush then goes on to speak about people being false banned and how it's a very large issue, which I again won't bother addressing. People are false banned on huge servers like Hypixel as well. It's Minecraft. Not every anti-cheat is going to be perfect. It happens. It does suck, I do agree, but staff will always try to deal with the situation to the best of their ability. But one thing in particular irritated me about Flush's video. Another fellow content creator and friend, Trainer Dario, was brought into this. Let me play that section of Flush's video. So when I got the chance, I asked Trainer Dario, a media owner of Mime Club, what he thought about it. The only response I got was that he's just a media owner and he likes the server so he does everything to support it. Sounds like if he had an opinion on it, he wouldn't be media owner anymore. Now I'm just going to quote what Flush said. Sounds like if he had an opinion on it, he wouldn't be media owner anymore. So Flush, where exactly did Dario say that? Because you provided no screenshot and completely put words into trainer Dario's mouth that he did not say. As well as this, Flush, you clickbaited Dario on your original thumbnail, which he then had to ask you to later remove because you attempted to paint him out as this corrupt villain of a staff member, which he just isn't. He's a media Media owner. He streams and makes videos on the server that he enjoys. It's relatively straightforward. Don't try to put words into people's mouths. Flush then ends his video discussing how his media application, as well as his friend who was banned, Fanta, were both suffering from being declined of the rank over and over again, which I think answers a lot of questions, especially why Flush made this video in the first place. I believe it was simply him being annoyed over the fact that both him and his friend were unable to get media, but that doesn't explain why he both lied within his video and then refuse to take it down when I ask him to. To summarize, I feel any videos that do come out on MMC, attempting to expose it, or anything like that, are generally always going to be a player that has had something not go the way that they want. If that be of them being banned for cheating and not being unbanned, or like in this case, being declined of media. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, please avoid sending hate to Flush. I do hope he makes a video admitting to the lies that he's told, but apart from that, that's all I've got to say. Have an awesome day, and drop a sub on the channel if you're new, because we're coming up on Thursday. 13,000 subscribers. That's all from me though. More uploads soon, ladies and gents. Peace out.